Okay, uh, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. And somebody wanted to see how to use RIDI FSK with Win Warbler uh, using one USB cable. And I'll show you how to do it here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, of course, set up your radio. And I'm not going to go through all the screens. I have screen captures on my website. Visit www.k0pir.us. And uh, my screen captures don't really change all that often. We did get a new firmware version, 1.3. And there's a new screen in there, but it won't affect this. So uh, after you set up your radio, uh, of course, uh, if you haven't already, you want to make sure that you install the ICOM USB driver before you attach the USB cable. Uh, probably say that in every video, but that's real important. Uh, download and install the ICOM USB driver before attaching the USB cable between the radio and the computer. Now I'm using Windows 10, a PC here, and uh, I've attached my cable, and it comes up as uh, the Silicon Labs uh, COM10 uh, for my ICOM 7300. So I'll be working with COM10 and uh, a Windows 10 Professional here. So COM10, the next thing I need to do is split that and I use Virtual Serial Ports Emulator VSPE and it is free to try out but uh, they really uh, want you to buy it and I think it's about uh, 26 bucks. There are other programs out there that you can use, but I found uh, this one to be pretty easy. Uh, I've got another video on how to set this up, so I'm not going to go through all that. But I have uh, got COM10 uh, going to COM11, so it's split, and I'll be using COM11 in my uh, radio software in Commander and uh, Win Warbler. So uh, I don't want to forget that. COM10 uh, is actually COM11 now after I run vir Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. So I can go ahead and minimize that. And uh, I think I've got the latest version of all the software of DX Lab Suites and I really, I really like it. Uh, I opened up Commander and I'm going to go into the config and uh, just show you how I have it set up for the 7300. Uh, on the porch tab, again, it's COM11 because I'm using Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. Uh, I'm using COM11 and the baud rate is 115.2. And then uh, all of this, uh, RTS and DTR have turned off here. Uh, if you look at my website and visit the screen captures page, there's a little explanation of this. And uh, that's real important. I'm going to go to the general tab and of course I have the radio the ICOM 7300 and I have interrogation checked off. Uh, when I have interrogation checked off and I, I move my mouse above it and hover it says uh, uh, don't check if an ICOM or Tintech radio CIV transceive setting is enabled and I have disabled that in my radio. So uh, I want to get commander going and of course it's going right now uh, looks good, follows the radio, vice versa. Uh, the next place I want to go, I, I've got my uh, my DX Keeper open, and uh, it's connected. Uh, uh, so if I log something, it's going to put in the right frequency, right band, and right mode. The next thing I want to do is open up Win Warbler and set it up for RIDI FSK. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because I'm actually using MMTTY. Okay, let's get Win Warbler set up for RIDI, and I've got it open. I'm going to click on the config button. I have RIDI selected down here in the operating mode, and when I selected it, it brought up BXTFSK, this little app here, little plug-in, and I'll show you where that comes in. I clicked on the config button, it brings up this configuration window, and on the general tab, uh, over here under the operating mode selection for RIDI, the transceiver mode, I have uh, RIDI selected, not uh, anything else in there, but uh, RIDI selected, we'll go over to display, I don't think anything changed in there. 
the push to talk is uh, important. The, the mode, uh, the transceiver control app, and then uh, the port MMTTY. I don't have anything selected in here. And I've been playing around with this. I can select COM11, but uh, it doesn't need to be selected. And if I select COM11, then I have trouble with CW. The sound card, uh, RIDI reception, uh, USB audio codec, same for uh, transmission, uh, because I'll be using it with PSK. And then the uh, phone transmission, uh, that'd be the USB audio codec also. And you can do some adjustments here in the reception uh, part if you want to increase the audio coming into the computer. Uh, the phone, I don't change anything in there. PSK, uh, this is the way I have mine set up. Uh, let's go over to uh, the RIDI tab. I don't have this enabled. Go over to the RIDI tab. I have that enabled. And uh, I don't think anything changed along here. I don't think anything changed in there. But in this modulation and transceiver mode area, I have S FSK, lower sideband, and then the transceiver mode is RIDI. This is important, the offset. So our frequency lines up over here. The mark offset is a negative 2125, the optimal offset 2210, and then FSK control is EXT FSK 64, and that's this little plug in down here. Now I don't remember if Win Warbler came with MMTTY. If you click on this MMTTY setup button and nothing pops up, Maybe it'll prompt you to download it, or maybe you'll just have to go to the MMTTY webpage and download it. Just install it to where it wants to, the default location, and it should be fine. Under this, the demodulator, I don't think anything changed in here. The AFC, ATC, PLL, I don't think anything changed in there. Uh, the decode, I don't think I changed anything in there. The, the TX ca uh, tab, this is where that EXT FSK64 comes in. Somebody emailed me the other day and said that they didn't get the 64, they just got the EXT FSK, and uh, he was going to try that out. Uh, if you uh, don't get the EXT FSK64 and you want it, uh, you can find it. It is on uh, the MMTTY page, there's a link to it. Uh, Diddle, I, I think LTR is the, uh, the default. Let's go over to the miscellaneous tab. This is another one where you want to change the transmit port. You want to make sure it's at COM, TXD, FSK. If you select this USB port button, I'm just using uh, normal. It seems to be working good for me. The sound card, uh, the USB audio codec for the reception, and then on the transmission, uh, you, you don't need anything selected. You can select nothing down here. Uh, and it'll work fine because we're using uh, this EF, EXT FSK plug-in. And we'll see what it sounds like. I'll turn up the radio. I'm on uh, 14.086. Let me move down a little bit. See if I can find somebody. I don't hear anybody right now. I'm going to go to 14, uh, 14.085. And uh, just put out a CQ call. And you see XTFSK, it starts up and starts sending. Uh, that's the COM port that we got from Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. FSK output is set to DTR and push to talk, uh, the output is TXD. I could change that to RTS and I think it would work just fine. And my radio is in RIDI mode. If I select the operating mode over here, it should go to RIDI mode. My frequencies line up. I've got a profile set. But my frequencies line up. 14.085, 085, on Commander. Uh, everything looks good, so if I keep calling CQ, I should get somebody. So that's the way it looks, and uh, I've been having a lot of... Uh, fun with it. I enjoy RIDI. There's another program out called FT8 Call. I've been playing around with it a little bit. 
it is similar to FT8 but you can send more text and I'll have a video coming up on it pretty soon but I really like Ritty and I would like to get more people involved in it it's a fun mode and it's great for contesting if you haven't been in a Ritty contest uh, you ought to try it give it a shot I hope you find this informative and useful please visit my website www.k0pir.us I have lots of articles on the ICOM 7300, 7610, and my new little portable radio, Elecraft KX2. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends, 73 and good DX.